Welcome back to the Zodcast. The Zodcast. Uh, cast, 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 cast. Oh my God, Mike, you're so geeky. <laughs> Episode two. Today, Paul, what are we talking about? We are talking about Disney's Plus The Mandalorian. Mandalorian. And wow, do we have a conversation for you guys today. Yeah. Well, all right. Let's get it going. Uh, this is the Star Wars you've been looking for. I don't know. I'm pretty geeked about this. Uh, you know, you know when... <laughs> well, well, Mike, I mean, we, we, we did a trailer reaction on PCE, mm-hmm. and I was like on the fence of, do I subscribe to Disney Plus? Do I not? Do I want to give them my money? I, I, I'm already paying for like three other streaming services. Do I want to do a fourth? And then I saw the trailer of The Mandalorian. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, just just like the surfacey things even. Like, we can imagine being 10 years old and this being Boba Fett and IG-88. So we had to wait until we're in our 40s to get this. Little, you know, different names, but hey, I'm okay with that. Um. Well, well, they're, they're, they're different characters, but they're the same characters. Yeah, it's that the makes, same thing. It is, you know. Uh, the, the one thing I really love about The Mandalorian is we saw Boba Fett, right, in The Empire Strikes Back. We saw him in Return of the Jedi, and he was kind of a buffoon. He didn't do anything. You know, he just kind of walked around, he had a few lines. Uh, when he was fighting Luke, that was kind of cool. And then, just by sheer luck, uh, Han Solo whacks him, and he dies in the Star Lake pit. Yeah, it's sorely underutilized, which is the typical story, you know. Let's give Jar Jar Binks, you know, three quarters of the film time. But let's take the greatest characters, you know, like Darth Maul, <laughs> Boba Darth Fett. Darth Maul, think, exactly. Yeah, let, let's give them, you know... 30 seconds of screen time throughout. I mean, Darth Maul did get his heyday with the the duel and all that, but, you know, Boba Fett is assumed he's, like, this badass, and he certainly looked the coolest, which is my favorite character after Han Solo, but, you know, we uh, never he, really got to see him. He's before Darth Vader with you? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Darth Vader's up there, I mean, of course, but... No, 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 no. It's, it's all good, dude. We we all have our preferences. Um, so so let's just so talk- why don't we, you know let's do a, a I guess like a spoiler free what we thought and then we can warn people if we want we're gonna dive into it a little bit deeper. Okay, well well first of all, uh, let's talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. You know the the good with this is immediately I knew this was a Star Wars story immediately uh it had that feel had several of the aliens that we that we know and love and it just it had that gritty feel that we had with a new hope or exactly yeah well the world like world wise if you're going to do something star wars you it has to feel like star wars so and they did that they it's like they cherry picked things out of the original trilogy to throw at you and you're like, oh, there's that thing, and oh, there's that character, and oh, that's that race, you know. So yeah, that, you're immediately loving on it because okay, you're back in that world. Um, I, I'm really hesitant about some of these, uh, this talk about these other creators creating worlds from scratch and and things like that because it's going to be kind of sterile. Well, and I think they they don't need to build worlds from scratch with Star Wars. Uh, Luke Sky, I mean, uh, oh my God, Luke Skywalker, uh, George Lucas has given us such a rich uh, universe that you can you can just pick, you know, Coruscant. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, just cherry pick what's there, and you'll... I'm already halfway there, you know. Uh, and, and the thing I like ab- about this, too, is it's it, it keeps things simple, you know, uh, script-wise, I think. Uh, yeah, agreed. Now, now, let's talk about... There's one thing, though, that's kind of bothering me with this show. I mean, they're spending $15 million an episode. That's a huge budget. Well, what? is this where we're going with ugly now or what? No, you said good, bad, and ugly. So This is bad. This is bad. Um, why are they making the universe so small? I mean, why are we on a desert planet? We've seen desert planets <laughs> throughout Star Wars. Why can't they give us something bigger, you know? Uh, I would love to see, and maybe this will happen, 
but the trailers are not showing this. Why can't they give us a city planet, you know, where it's just like 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 a car zone um, environment? I think that's probably my, my biggest complaint about this show is they're just keeping it very small where the universe is so big. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I wish I could like t- chime in with a bad or an ugly, but I'm, <laughs> it's all good for me. I, I was just I could watch these couple episodes over and over and like look for Easter eggs and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, I get what you mean. Like the scope of it is very, very uh, tunnel vision. You know, it's very small. It's it's just this guy and he's doing his thing. You know, and and maybe I don't know how many episodes we're getting. Like uh, we're getting eight, eight or thirteen or no, nine, it's going to be eight, eight episodes. Uh, you the, know, but maybe they'll expand on that. Well, the other thing too is is the pilot episode uh, of any show really needs to wow you. Now I enjoyed the pilot. Don't get me wrong, but I wasn't wowed. I mean, the very first conflict we were introduced to was we had uh, the Mandalorian walking into that bar, right? Uh, he knocks over a drink. That was the start of the conflict. He and the two people he fought, he killed one of them, and they had there was there was there was nothing to him, and he had to capture this wimpy blue alien. I just thought that was kind of lame. I, I would have preferred something a little bit more bigger than that. Well, you know, you're just so hard to please, and they're just. Uh... You know, I'm sitting over there just, you know, starry-eyed that I'm even watching a Star Wars show that's actually good. You know, that's enough for me. I, I, like, wow, I'm, you guys com- are awesome. I am completely nitpicking. You are nitpicking, sir. I am, I am nitpicking. But my point is, if if you're going to have a, a pilot episode of anything, it needs to be huge, you know, uh, because you need that. Okay, so, all right, so we're going to... Let's go into some spoiler territory. So if you have not watched The Mandalorian, uh, first of all, I don't know what's wrong with you if you're a Star Wars fan. Uh, get the free trial. Watch the darn thing. Uh, we're going to go into a little bit more spoilery discussion here. So uh, if you haven't seen it, now is the time to uh, turn this off, go watch it, and come back and listen. All right. So, so The Mandalorian and IG-11... Uh, f- fighting to to rescue a baby Yoda <laughs> isn't enough for you. No, 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 no. You no. sir have some issues. That that was pretty cool. You know, you know, w- w- watching the uh, the bounty droid just walk up to everybody. You know, this is an android. This is not a person. This is an android set on a mission, and he just starts <laughs> kicking the living shit out of everybody. Uh, yeah, and also that, looking for a reason to self-destruct. Okay, that, that, it's like, that, oh no, there's a lot of a lot of people, too many people to fight. I think I'll self-destruct. Well, I, I gotta give them this. Don't do know, that. Comedy comes in threes, and I think he mentioned self-destruct three times. Uh, and the Mandalorian is like, don't self-destruct. No, don't do that. You know. Uh, so, so that interaction between the two, I thought was pretty funny. But at the end of the day, we just saw two badass characters. Just kicking the the living crap out of everybody, and that was pretty awesome. Well, and and then you know the payoff is <laughs> move over porgs, move over Ewoks, <laughs> because the baby Yoda is taking over the cuteness factor. Uh, all I know, uh, I could watch I, that all day. If I had a four month old baby, uh, I'd be taking her or him to uh, Gen Con as baby Yoda. Hands down. It was awesome. Um, oh, oh, it's coming. You know, I, I am it's disappointed, coming. though. I really wish that the Mandalorian would have said Gucci Goo Goo. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was. He was. He's a man of limited dialogue, and they have the shot of him going with his finger. Oh, you're so So cute. there you go. Now, now, how did you feel? I mean, were, were you shocked when he just shot? <laughs> yes. The, the, the I was mark? like, hell no. <laughs> You know, so so now, now that raises another question, though, is, you know, the Mandalorian, he was given two options. You know, we want we want this 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 person alive. If he has to come back dead, fine, but you'll get half. Well, the bounty hunter, the, the bounty hunter droid, 
his orders was to kill it. So who yeah, and if you notice, there was another like the I think they call them a transdo Trandoshan, the the aliens that uh, are of Bosk's race, one of the original bounty hunters. They were trying to kill it too. So some you know, there's other factions at play here, uh, I, 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 I'm, and that have different sort of uh, agenda here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing that. But yeah, uh, Baby Yoda, 50 years old. I, I'm, I'll be 50 in like, what, three three months? Uh, oh my God, that's depressing. Uh, that was so awesome. So let's talk about episode two. What was the coolest thing for you? In well, they're two? expanding on Baby Yoda, kind of hanging out with him, you know, and you thought it was going to heal him, but he was like, kind of get away from me. So I'd, I'd say that the, the runaway shot with that was when um you know the baby uh lifts the creature the um mud horn off the ground you know then he was battling him to help him out you know i thought that was really cool oh no because you were waiting i mean you were waiting for him to do something force oriented you know and 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 i love that because that was our first uh, experience with a Force user in the Mandalorian, so we but we both know that the Force is still strong and powerful. Uh, that was pretty cool. How about the fact that the Mandalorian? What do we know his name yet? No, no, we don't. No, it's just the Mandalorian. So it's and it's just like you know that kind of reminds me of this whole thing with the, the you know everyone call is calling it Baby Yoda. First of all, it's not Yoda. Uh, second of all, I thought in old canon and like expanded universe that Yoda they did say what race he is but I went and looking in my books and it did say unknown species so we don't know what species Yoda is and that's all we have to go on so everyone's just baby Yoda okay you know because this technically takes place after Return of the Jedi after Yoda's dead you know well going forward I'm just going to call him Mando it takes too much work to call him Mandalorian Mando yeah Mando Mm -hmm. so uh, I (laughs) thought uh, him with the Jawas was hilarious. Oh yeah, God. that was hilarious. That's, you know, just, that's the stuff you watch over and over. I mean, hilarious. Just watching them explode, just disintegrate, was just like... And, and I mean, they, they had a comment. I mean, they dismantled his ship. So I, I love the fact that a good portion of this episode was him just trying to get his shit back so he could put his <laughs> shit back together. That was pretty awesome. And it kind of shows what kind of dicks Jawas really are. <laughs> 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 they're going to tear apart your ship. You're going to have to try to kill some of them. And then they're still going to mess with you, you know. They're still well, going to yeah. want something from you and be like, what, what? It's, it's know, Which is very entertaining. And, it's, and I have to mention... Uh, they're using the race from Cloud City, the Ugnots, that were like the guys were working the freezing oh, chamber yes, and stuff when, like when that. Three PO was in the, uh, the yes. garbage disposal, right? Yeah. So those little pig guys were all over Cloud City, and they're using that race as the guy who you know he says, uh, "I have spoken." You know? <laughs> I did not see that connection. That's pretty. Yes. Cool. No. Yeah. That's definitely an Ugnot, and then you know I watched with the titles on too, and it did mention that just, and it kind of confirmed it for me. Um, so that was really cool. He's a cool character. Uh, he's a cool character. And, uh, you know, the fact that they're cherry picking out of the old Star Wars universe is really tops it off. And and I was actually disappointed because when Mando went to him and said, hey, look, I could use a companion. I could use someone to help me with this. And he's like, nope, you brought peace. I have spoken. And he just laughed. I'm like, dude, no, stick around. I would love to have you in this show. Uh, so I was kind of bummed out about that. Yeah, we need him back. We do. So so then we had the confrontation uh, with that one, mud, what, was, what was that creature's name? The, the mud, mud horn. horn? The mud horn. I think it's a mud horn. Who, who looked like he was a zombie. That was pretty cool. I mean, you're talking about the the big thing with the rhino, the rhino horn. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, yeah, yeah. Oh. That fight. Uh, Mando got his butt delivered in that. Which, fight. Which you know, we like that. We like to see the hero get mopped up. Or yeah, struggle. We want to see our hero struggle. And if it wasn't for um, Baby Yoda, <laughs> I don't <laughs> like that. Um, no, that's would, that's it. That's the thing. He would have gotten killed. 
he would not have beaten that creature. And that was really cool. And what I also mm -hmm. liked was just him whipping out. The only thing that we didn't see was a missile coming out of his backpack. If a missile would have came out of his backpack, I think that would have made the fight totally complete. Which he doesn't saw, have a backpack. I know. He needs to get one. No, That's my point. This is not Boba Fett. I know. It's like, it's like, it's like Diet Coke. It's the Diet Coke of Boba Fett that we're dealing with, but that's okay. So, but you know what, though, Mike? I, yes, I had some criticisms. Uh, they're very minor. I was nitpicking. Overall, I am subscribing to Disney+. Plus. I'll pay the $7 a month just for me to watch The Mandalorian. Yeah, at the very least. Oh, at the very and least. And, I did watch And we're going to have another... We are going to talk about some uh, Disney Plus and streaming in a in a future episode. So make sure you uh, subscribe, hit the bell, like, and share. Oh, my God, Mike. That's my job. And you just nailed it. You, you just had me, like, you just slid me in there. <laughs> I did. So, uh, hey, plug. guys, have, have you guys been watching The Mandalorian? What are your thoughts? Uh, do you enjoy it? Uh, do you agree with some of my nitpicks? Uh, do you have other nitpicks? Uh, please put those in the comment section in the, in the comment section below. Uh, so, Mike, you said the like and subscribe, so I don't need to go there. So, I just think it's time for us to peace out. So, peace out. Peace out. out.